hello guys this is tabs welcome to my youtube channel i hope everybody is good and keeping safe and in this video i want to show you how you can migrate your website from one hosting account to another and i will be using infinity free to get this done for a while right now i think online i have searched and most video around migrating websites just have to do with cloning your website they just show you how you can migrate your website from one url to another url what if you really do want to move your website from one hosting account to another like uh someone asked me in the comment section in one of my videos how can i move my website from my hosting account to infinity free so i just said okay let me show a video exactly how to get that done and that's exactly what we are about to do in this video if you're on this channel or watching my video for the very first time or if for some reasons you've not hit the subscribe button or the notification bell i would advise you do that right now because i upload videos every now and then around wordpress giving you some hacks showing you things that work the things that do not work teaching you how to get some things done like a pro even though you are not so please do that right now and let's get started together yeah that's cool okay right before you is a website i created for testing purpose and the url is your testing.ml i registered this website with freenum and if i go to my freenum account here this is the url your testing.ml and i can manage the url to see so as you can see right now that the name server of this domain is pointed to ipage ns1.ipage.com so ipage currently is hosting this website uh, but in this video i'll be showing you exactly how to really migrate your website with a simple and free plugin it shouldn't get that complicated so right here at our domain we'll have to log into the back end of this website so at the back end right now we'll come to plugins and we'll click add new and we'll search for a plugin called wp vivid that's the plugin we are seeing right here uh, so we'll be installing and activating this plugin right away installing and activating this plugin has launched this plugin already so here there are a lot of function a lot of stuff we can do with this plugin and i'm not sure i would be able to walk you through everything right now perhaps i can create a, a video around this plugin showing you all the good stuff you can do with this plugin trust me there are a lot of things you can do here but right now i want us to get to the business of today which is for us to migrate our website and the best way for us to get that done is for us to back up our website and before us here we can see the big blue button back up now and that's where that's what we are going to do we're going to hit that button to back up but before we do that uh, there are some instructions just before then and you see that there's a place for you to either back up your database plus files or your wordpress files alone or your database alone ensure that when you are taking this backup you are taking the backup of your website files and database back up your complete website do not by any means or any chance back up either the files or the database alone if you do you will just be backing up your an incomplete website so let's hit the backup button right now so i have my backup running and that should not take up to a minute to get done all right so we have our backup ready and that's the beauty of it is in just split seconds you have your backup files and right now we can see that our backup is here and this is the day and the time that we did the backup which is quite good and what we can do next is to download this backup to our local pc 
so right now I have this file downloading all right we have our, our website files downloaded I would love to open this file okay right now I would love to unzip this file and then we can open the unzipped file and then we will now have zipped files inside the unzipped files so i really don't know if that makes sense but right now we have zipped files of different compartment of different compartments of our website uh and that's cool but i'm really doing this because of infinity free if you are using any other hosting out there you might not need to unzip uh, because right now I would be uploading this file into infinity free one after the other but if you are if you are transferring your website from one hosting account to another hosting account that gives you capacity that gives you space that you can adjust your ini.php file for you to have more capacity to use the the server then fine you can just go ahead and upload the complete zip file and then the plugin will unzip afterward i don't want to talk over your head let's continue this tutorial but take note that i am unzipping this file and i want to move them one after the other into our server for us to have this website back live so i'll close this page and then since we have downloaded the complete files of this website what we are going to do right now is to go back to our domain registrar and now we we'll want to point this domain away from the current registrar which is ipage and now we we'll want to point it to infinity free so we'll be changing the name servers from ipage to infinity free i just kind of know how these name servers by ed so for infinity free right now it will be ns1.epz.com and ns2.epz.com if you are using a new registrar please take note to know what their name servers are and then you update them i have changed the name servers and right now i will be updating the name servers but one thing again i want you to note is that changing name servers could take a lot of time before it's affected you have to take note of that it's very very serious you might need to wait for some hours before the name servers can change because right now if we still go back to our our old wordpress website it will still load fine now and ideally if the if the server is propagated this website should not load anymore but right now it will still load so you can see after refreshing it is still loading it shows that the names have, have not been propagated so right now it will be very difficult for us to install a new wordpress website but we cannot wait for it to propagate before we start creating a new one for you you can just wait give it time give it some hours but right now i would just go ahead and create a new wordpress account on infinity free and then wait till the name servers propagate before we continue the video so right now i would come back to infinity free to keep things very fast i already created an account already and i have added the domain your testing.ml here so as you can see this account appears underscore numbers that you can see there if i click this and if you scroll down you see that i have my domain registered here however that's the only thing i have done i have not installed wordpress neither done anything after registering it here so let's move fast so that we will not take time and creating but creating an account is quite very easy hit the create button account add your custom domain name and then submit that's it so let's go to our control panel okay the next thing we are going to do inside our control panel right now is to install wordpress and we can get that done through the use of the app softaculous so let's find the app and install wordpress just before our screen 
WordPress is the first app we can see here and once you over around it you see this blue button here to install so click that to install here coming down here you see your URL you see the version of the WordPress you're about to install and your URL HTTP now if you need a free kind of offer HTTPS so you can choose to maybe uh, you can choose to maybe add a certificate first before you try to install wordpress but this is my advice for you if you if on your previous hosting account you had uh, an SSL certificate i would advise that you create one here first before you now try to migrate the site it will be very very important it will be very it will make the process very easy and swift but if you check this wordpress website here you see that it's not secured i am running it on http so i will just leave it like that so if i were to be using https what i would have advised that we do right now is to come back to the home page here and click the free ssl certificate here because infinity free now offers free ssl certificate for you to learn exactly how you can sell this off for yourself by yourself uh, you should see a screen you should see a link on your screen right now that you can click and it will show you a step-by-step -step tutorial that i have created to show you how you can activate your free ssl with infinity free so let's come back here to our installations uh we can then move down we can change the name to whatever you want to but i just want to leave everything the way they have my blog my wordpress blog and we can do the admin username i can just do dabs if i i can do dabs and i can create a new password okay please use a password you are very comfortable with the one you can remember however this password and username details here might not necessarily be that important but you will need it to access your new wordpress website after we migrate the old content into the new username and password might not, might not be relevant anymore because you might need to be using your old you wordpress details but again we have to set this right so let's call let's continue and then all we have to do now is to hit the install button wordpress right now is installing and wordpress has been successfully installed on our website but like i told you earlier it takes time for our name servers to propagate so at this point i am not sure that it has so we might not be able to have our website restored back to default yet so we might have to give it time for it to get done let me refresh this page here and let's see if we still have this website running of course it is still running so i will how i want to log out so right now this is everything we need to do we just have to give this time for the name servers to propagate once the name servers propagate when we load this url we should see the newly installed wordpress and from there we would be able to restore the hold back so i think we'll have to give it time uh, let me try to load this url and see if it will still load the old url so there's nothing we can do right now let's give it time i'll pause this video until i'll give it some time until the name servers propagate okay so after chilling for 10 15 minutes <laughs> i had to grab some snacks to eat i am back and let's refresh our page to see if we now have okay fantastic uh this is cool now we have our default wordpress now loaded uh here so it means that our name servers have been adequately propagated so the next thing for us to do right now is to sign into the back end as usual so basically what we are going to do right now is to log into our back end with the password we just created earlier for us to restore back our website what we have to do right now is to install the same plugin uh to is to install wp vivid for us to restore back our website so let's come to plugins and let's come to add new 
as usual we'll be searching for wpv and then we would activate okay so pretty much simple easy steps right and we are here already uh, and everything we have to do right now is for us to restore this time and not take a backup again so we'll come down here to a place where we can see backup and uploads so we're gonna hit the upload button and then we can scroll back up and here we have space for us to drag our files so like I said earlier on if you are not using infinity free you can drag and drop the whole zip folder it should work fine as a matter of fact even with infinity free I have done the whole zip file once off and I was able to upload it but for 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 efficiency sake I would advise that you unzip and you move it one after the other that way you guarantee that you never get stuck and network or whatever so you can break it into smaller bits you're just saving your time and give yourself more guarantees so now let's move our files here one after the other so here are my files so I'll be moving them all right guys so I've been able to add all my files here so the speed of this process is dependent on how heavy our WordPress files are one uh, secondly how fast our internet connection is and also the infinity free server at the time we are trying to upload we determine a long we determine to a large extent how fast we are going to get this done but let's give it time and let's see how it gets done i would have to pause this video right now and i'll be back once i have successfully uploaded all these files okay yes upload as completed and that's cool we got all our files uploaded one after the other uh, so what we can do right now to continue this process is to hit the ok button apparently next step for us right now is to hit the restore button but before i do that i want to let you know again that because we are using infinity free and we are limited with server and space and i think that's the reason why i tried as much as possible to make sure that we upload the files one after the other because if we have not done that initially trying to restore the button now we first have to unzip the file bring them out one after the other before trying to restore them so we've tried to help the server already have the files installed in different files already and then we can try it if we try it we might get stored if we get stored we'll cancel the process and we'll try again and definitely after one or two times we should be able to have our website restored so let's try and see how we can get this done so hitting the restore button yes you will get this notification that your max allow packet is 3 mb which is too small uh, we need the value of like 16 mb and our memory limit is 158 mb which is too small as compared to the recommended 256 mb so but regardless we will have to try to restore and this is this is the serious this is the only issue we would have here but apart from that everything is good we should be able to have uh, this working well and again regardless of this we should be able to find a way around it so I'm eating the restore button now are you sure apparently I am again this can take time depending on how heavy those files are uh, definitely the core zip file which is the first one that is extracting here is the heaviest of all the files so it can take a little while before all of these things get done so we'll just take a pause and wait and if it gets stored i will have to cancel the process cancel the operation and then start again but again let's watch and let's see Oh, this time around we 
<laughs> have a restore complete and i believe that uploading the files one after the other helped this process because i have tried boot method trying to upload a zip folder directly and i get stored many times but with this i have recorded 100 percent success rate and this is one of them again and this is good so let's hit the ok button and we'll definitely be signed out and now for us to log in back to our website we have to use our initial password the password of your old wordpress website is what you need right now not the current one you just installed so right now i'll be plugging in the details so pretty much mine is the same so i really wouldn't have problem with that so but if you have used different password remember to use your old password and then let's log in and yes we have our website back let's view our website in a new tab definitely and let's see that we have restored our website so bingo we have our website back and this time around this website is hosted on infinity free this is exactly how easy it is for you to migrate your website from whichever hosting you are to infinity free or to whichever hosting you want to definitely transfer or migrate your website to if you find this video very useful and informative if it has helped you let me know in the comment section below i'll be glad to hear feedbacks from you if you have any issues or questions or clarification please again drop them for me in the comment section below and again do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and also hit that notification bell because that's the only way you will never have to miss any post from me and please feel free to check my youtube channel and see other videos that you might love to watch because i try as much as possible to upload just good stuff good stuff alone and that's it for this video thank you very much for watching uh, bye bye.